Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so with this energy, I do see someone here who is in a hurry to express something to you. Um, somebody feels like they need to clear the air with you. They want to communicate something to you. This is somebody who is coming through very aggressive or... Uh, actually very assertive with this energy so this there's just a very strong determination on this person's part i do see them having made their mind up about something and wanting to set the record straight so this is definitely somebody who um isn't wanting to waste time here they want things this is really wanting to pick up speed in a situation so things are happening quite quickly with this person so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this scorpio Okay, so the first card we have is the Five of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy. Next, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy again. And finally, we have the Four of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so I do see here, there is a sense that this person, um, they may have felt left out in a situation or there, with this Five of Pentacles, this could be you in this um, energy, feeling like this person abandoned you or um, there is this sense of somebody here feeling alone, feeling, um, you know, neglected, discounted, you know, um, ghosted even with this energy. And I do see this person having an explanation. So if this person walked out on you and left you in the state of five of pentacles, they're coming back and they want to, um, they have an explanation for it. They, they, they want to clear the air. They feel like they need to own up to something or explain something to you with that knight of swords energy. Um, so I do see somebody who may have, um, you know, abandoned you coming back here. And with this Eight of Pentacles energy, I do see them wanting to uh, work on things. With this energy, I do see someone who, um, you know, this is someone who, who, who feels like they need to, you know, take it um, bit by bit. So I do see them wanting to focus on first explaining why they left or why they ghosted you or abandoned you or, you know, whatever it is they did that put you in this Five of Pentacles state. They want to... Um, first address why that happened or what caused them to do that. So this is definitely somebody who, who who has thought about this and they want to fix things. They want to make things up to you. They want to work on things with that Eight of Pentacles. And this is a solid energy with this Eight of Pentacles. So I do see someone who is genuinely wanting to fix the situation and work on it. They want to bring you out from the cold and, you know, they want to, you know, make up. Um, this is somebody who is hopeful that you will accept this opportunity, this new beginning with them. They're hoping that you will um, understand their pro their points of view or their, their reasons for doing what they did. So they're going to try to convince you. I'm seeing someone who's committed to trying to be understood by you. Um, this person does have remorse. This is somebody who genuinely is, um, I'm seeing them taking accountability, speaking up and um, not trying to brush over things. There's a lot of communication coming from this person. This person has got a lot to say to you. Um, this person is hopeful that you will hear them out. With the Four of Cups, there is a sense that this person really disappointed you. Um, this is somebody who, um, you know, did quite a number on you. I'm seeing, um, you know, it's almost like you may even feel, um, you may have this desire to um, not be open to them when they come back because this person really hurt you with the five of pentacles this is really a low this is putting someone in a very low energy this is depressed state um isolating and um it could even take a toll on your self-esteem so i do see this person they did some damage here and they need to make up for that they, they feel like they need to make up for that and they're willing to do that but um, I do see it's not going to be easy for them because with the Four of Cups, it's almost like you're not going to make it easy. You, you may even not want to hear them out. You just may not be interested to what they have to say. Um, or this is a fear of theirs. But there is the sense that um, 
you know, you, you may be a bit untrusting towards this person when they come through. So this person feels like they're going to need to put in a lot of effort. So let's clarify these cards, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the emperor okay so this is aries energy okay so this person they are again with this energy i do see them wanting to bring you into the warmth they're trying to have compassion for you they're hoping that you will have that same compassion for them as well um this is somebody who genuinely i do see them having some remorse um i also do see this as you being put in an empowered position now um so this person they disempowered you they left you in this five of pentacles energy and now it's like the tables are turning they are the ones trying to get back into your favor now so you're the one with this emperor energy you're in this deciding position um whether you want to give this person the time of day or not it's like it's up to you with this energy okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this scorpio okay so the first card we have is the high priestess and this is pisces energy next we have the five of pentacles in the reverse earth energy and finally we have the ace of swords air energy so you could be dealing with a pisces okay so there is a sense here with this high priestess energy that um you're not it's the sense that even if it really hurt when this person um left you or abandoned you um or made you feel forgotten your, you didn't show your emotions too much to this person and you didn't chase them. With the high priestess showing up there, it's almost like you uh, you stayed in this energy. It's almost like a feminine energy where um, you didn't uh, chase them. You didn't, you know, if this, is, this person wanted you to chase them, you didn't do that. And now it's like they're the ones who are chasing you. Um, they are the ones regretting this five of pentacles um, energy and they want to make it up to you. They, they they want to get some emotion from you because with the high priestess that can be also a very secretive energy there's the sense that this person doesn't know how you feel about them at this moment um they are feeling that you know there is the threat of rejection here with the four of cups there is the sense that you could be not interested in hearing what they have to say but they really are hoping that you will hear them out um they are wanting to come back into the warmth with you. They want to come back into union with you. I do see this also as you regaining your self-esteem in this con in this situation. You are being empowered again. You are, you know, it's like you're in that, that winning position. With the Ace of Swords, there is truth here. This person wants to speak their truth to you. They want to also start a new beginning with you. So this is someone who is still very interested in you. They want a victory with you. This is someone who is also um, extending that olive branch to you. So this is definitely them putting the ball in your court and putting you in this position where you have the power now so i do see this person um definitely there is a turn of events now they are chasing towards you and um i, I do see with the four of cups it's almost like you may not um hear this person out or you may reject their offer um or a couple of their offers but this person is still making more offers you know it's the sense that they're they're not gonna quit easily this is someone who's quite pers perseverance in the sense um they really don't want to miss out on this opportunity and they genuinely believe that you guys can work on things so that is what they want they want to have this victory with you okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you um scorpio Okay, so the card says, believe in the impossible blue moon. Okay, so there is this uh, sense um, with this high priestess, this could be a higher knowing that you may have had when you were in this five of pentacles. You know, you may have sensed this person that this is someone who will come back or that, you know, there's just this this quiet knowing with the high priestess. And um, she it's a very feminine energy in the sense that she is attracting or manifesting um, passively, of course. And um, so it's like this person is 
being pulled towards you it's it's like there's this straw towards you and um they are making this return and this desire to work on it and change things and i do see them offering an apology it's like this person is saying all the right things this person is you know willing to do all the right things with the eight of pentacles there and um you know this is definitely something that you may have had a higher knowing of or your higher self may have been aware of this potential while you were in this five of pentacles state um so there was a sense of hard break pain here but it's like on an intuitive level you may have sensed that that wasn't the end okay so um i'm going to pull out another card for you scorpio Okay, so the card says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so I do see um, what, there is a sense of isolating oneself with the five of pentacles and the high priestess. These can be very secretive energies. Um, well, the high priestess is that secretive energy and then the five of pentacles is more like isolating. So um, there is a, a um, it's almost like a advice here that... Um, you know, it would be helpful to get perspective from people that you respect and care about. People who, you know, like your friends, family, loved ones. Um, there is a sense that they, they could be there for you to help and support you in this situation. Um, you're not alone. There's people here who care about you and um, who, who want to help you out here. Um, I, I do see, you know, there is this sense that with this person you may need more objective opinions when it comes to this because I do see them making some sort of an offer to you wanting some sort of victorious outcome or beginning with you and um, I do see having support so um, there's people who are willing to help you here okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you Scorpio Okay, so the card says, Sweet William, gallantry, grant me a single smile. Sweet William Small has form and aspect bright. Like the sweet flower, they yield its great Jove delight. Okay, so this person is going to go out of their way to try to show you that they have good intentions, that they want to make you happy, that they are capable of, um, you know, showing up as a better version of themselves, making things up to you. Um, so I do see them trying very hard to do that. And this person is going to have a lot to say to you. I, I do see this person has got a lot of explaining that they want to do. They're going to try very hard to convince you. And I do see a lot of talk from them, a lot of communication from them. Um, so I do see them, you know, having that. Um, so you'll be hearing from this person is what I am seeing. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.